Hi, Algebra 1. This is um, page 19 from the homework. So standard form. So these are all in standard form except for this one. We need to change x squared minus x minus 3. This one we need to change the order to have the higher exponent up front. Notice I'm keeping the signs. This one's in standard form. This one's in standard form. Number eight, we have to combine like terms first and then put it in descending order. So negative 2x to the third minus 4x squared uh, plus 3x. Number nine is in standard form. And number 10, we just need to rearrange the order. So I get negative 5x squared. And that should be an x on the end of that. And then combine these two like terms. So that's negative 3x plus 2. So descending order is standard form. Now let's go down the list. And the leading coefficient is negative 10, 4, 6. There's a 1 out front, so it's a 1. Negative 11 is 5 out front. There's a 1 in front of the x. Uh, number 8 is negative 2, because that's our very first number. Number 9 is just 2. And number 10, our leading coefficient is negative 5. And if we want to name them by degree, this is called constant. Uh, number 2 is linear because it's raised to the first. Uh, number 3 is quadratic because it's raised to the second. Number 4 is also quadratic because it's the second. Number 5 is cubic. Number 6 is quadratic. Number 7 is linear because it's raised to the first power. Number 8 is cubic because it's raised to the third power. Number 9 is constant because it has no letters. Number 10 is quadratic. And we want to name them by terms. So we have one term, so that's monomial. Number 2 has two terms, so that's binomial. Number 3 is one term, so it's monomial. Number 4 is three terms, so that's trinomial. Number 5 is three terms, so that's trinomial. Number 6 is uh, three terms, so that's trinomial. Number 7 is one term, so it's monomial. Number, let's see, that was 7. Number 8, we have one, two, we have three terms, so it's trinomial. Number 9 has one term with the 2, it's a monomial. Number 10 has three terms, so that's trinomial. Okay, let's go down and take a look. Number 11, we want to put it in the right term, combine any like terms. So let's see, these are both to the third. So 4 minus 7 is negative 3x to the third minus 5x squared. So this is cubic because it's raised to the third. Two terms, binomial. Number 12, we can drop the parentheses on the first one, and we can drop the parentheses on the second one because we had just have addition signs or no, no sign out in front. Then we want to combine like terms, so 3 minus 4 is negative x squared. 2x and 2x is 4x, and negative 6 and negative 8 is negative 14. So this is a quadratic because it's raised to the second power, three terms, so it's trinomial. Going on to page 20 on the back side. Number 13, looks like we can just go ahead and drop the parentheses as they sit because there's really nothing out in front of them other than a 1. And then we want to combine like terms. So 3x squared and 1x squared is 4x squared. Negative 4 and negative 6 is negative 10x. And 1 
minus 7 is negative 6, so this is quadratic because it's raised to the second power, three terms, so it's a trinomial. The 14, I can go ahead and just drop the parentheses because there's only a 1 out front, so 2x minus x squared plus 9. Combine like terms, well, there's only a single x squared, and then the x is combined, so that's 8x, and then that's going to give me plus 1. So this is quadratic trinomial. Number 15, we can go ahead and again drop the parentheses because we only have a 1 out front. That's a longer one. All right, so x to the third, so negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4x to the third. 5x squared minus x squared is plus 4x squared. 1x minus 8x is minus 7x. Minus 9 plus 9. Oh, they cancel out, right? So this is cubic because it's raised to the third, and it's a trinomial. It's done. Terms. Number 16, I can go ahead and drop the parentheses so I get to because there's only a 1 out in front of them. Notice I say there's only a 1 out in front of them. That'll change in today's lesson. All right, so let's combine our x squareds. So 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 8 is 15. I get 15x squared. And combine our x's. Negative 11x plus 1x. That's negative 10x. Minus 2 is negative 12x. So this is quadratic because it's raised to the second power as the highest exponent. There's two terms, so it's a binomial. And number 17, we have our, looks like a square. So that, that's x plus 3, and that's x plus 3. That means it's x plus 3 over here and here. So we want to find the perimeter. That's the distance all the way around. So 1, 2, 3, I have 4x's. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12. So there's our perimeter. Number 18, we have uh, x plus 3 over here and x plus 6. So this is a rectangle, so if the left side is x plus 3, the right side's got to be x plus 3. The top is x plus 6, the bottom has to be x plus 6. So the perimeter is the distance all the way around. So 1, 2, 3, I have 4 x's. And then 3 plus 6 is 9, 12, 18. And there's our perimeter. Cool, and that's the homework. If you have any additional questions, you're welcome to ask me. We're going to be on now page 21 of our book. Just go back a little bit. All right. So we want to start combining like terms. So if we add them together, we have a one out front. This I've been saying this, so I can just drop my parentheses. And let's combine like terms. So I have x to the third is my highest term, so I took care of that. 3x squared and 6, whoops, that should be a squared. And 6x squared <clears throat> is 9x squared, so I took care of those. Uh, 8x and 8x is 16x, and then the minus 15. So this is a polynomial, and it's cubic because it's raised to the third power. All right, so let's take a look at example two. We're going to combine any like terms. So if I have uh, 2x to the third is my biggest. Oop, and I have one there too. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So I get negative 1x to the third. And then I have x squared and x squared there. So 4x squared minus 2x squared is positive 2x squared. <clears throat> negative 6x. And positive 8x is negative, or positive 2x. And then 12 minus 10 is 2. So this is a cubic polynomial because there's four terms. If you have more than three terms, it's polynomial. Third cubic because it's raised to the third power. Example 3. Let's see. So it looks like I can just drop these parentheses. I'm just going to ignore it rather than rewrite it because it was just a positive out front. So I have 4x to the 4th. That's my largest exponent. <clears throat> so that's taken care of. Uh, 8x to the 3rd. Positive 8x to the 3rd is my next one. 
And 9x squared and 12x squared is 21x squared. Negative 3x minus 4x is negative 7x. Positive 6 minus 5 is positive 1. So this is called a quartic. And then it's a polynomial because there's more than three terms. <clears throat> okay, so take a look at here. I have one out in front of here, so I'm going to drop my parentheses. This is what we've been doing. I know we shortcutted the last one. But I have to make sure I distribute this negative over the parentheses. So all the signs inside the parentheses are going to change. Okay, so negative 2x to the third, negative 2x to the third is negative 4x to the third. x minus 3x is minus 2x. 9, or 4 minus 9 is negative 5, so this is cubic. And it is a trinomial because there's three terms. Example number 5, there's only one out front, so I can drop the parentheses on this one easily. And I'm going to distribute the negative over the parentheses. And I'm going to start combining like terms. So 5x to the third minus 7x to the third. That's 12 or plus 12x to the third. Excuse me. Positive 12x to the third. Minus 2x plus 2x. They cancel each other out. Minus 6x minus 2x is minus 8x. 6 and 5 is 11, so this is cubic because it's raised to the third. There's three terms, so it's a trinomial. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. We're going to find the perimeter. So if the top is this big thing, then the bottom is going to be this big thing as well. The left side is x plus 3. The right side is going to be x plus 3. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms. So it's 2x to the third. So we want to find the perimeter. 2x to the third plus 2x to the third is 4x to the third. So we took care of that. 8x squared plus 8x squared is 16x squared. Took care of that. So 1x plus 4x is 5x plus 1x is 6x plus 4x is 10x. Then I have the 3s plus add 3. So that's our whole perimeter. Wow. Perimeter of the triangle, we'll do the same thing. We're going to add up as we go around. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. 5x minus 4x is just x or 1x. Negative 7 minus 9 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 12 is minus 4. So there's the perimeter there. Oh, boy. So we know that this is the perimeter. So that what I'm going to do... I'm going to go 3x squared minus 2x squared minus 7x plus 9. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this and subtract this. So let me distribute the negative over as we go. So I get negative 6x squared plus 7x squared. Notice the signs change. Distribute the negative here. Negative x to the third plus 5. And we can, so what we're doing is trying to find that missing side. So I have negative x to the third, so that one's taken care of. I have 3x squared minus 6x squared, which is minus 3x squared. I took care of those. Oh, and there, I forgot this one too, didn't I? I think I forgot that one. So that's going to change minus 3x minus 2x squared is minus 5x squared. And then negative 7x plus 7x, they cancel each other out. 9 added to 5 is 14. So our missing side to this is actually that. Okay, so I think you're good to go for the homework. So let's have us do page 23 and 24. You have the rest of the period to work on it. Um, ask me if you have any questions, but I think you can do 1 through 12, all of them. Have a nice day.